Welcome back to my vlog, y'all. I put the uh, Korea, 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 Korea motors on my Bolt RC Black Ops. How many of y'all remember Bolt RC? Are they still making frames? I I'm not sure. But uh, this thing still flies. Uh, it's heavy. I think uh, 692 grams is the all-up weight with a uh, 6S battery and the GoPro. So yeah, it's heavy. But... Uh, Look pretty good for a heavy quad um, probably because it's such a stiff frame it's always a great uh, solid frame don't fly it much because of how heavy it is and it needs to be updated it's got all old parts on it still got the uh, um, the original Ray 32 um, the test ESC's that they sent all the adopters the um, first people to order got uh, some free a free set of Ray 32 ESCs yeah here's a little video of it flying um, motors felt uh, pretty good on this quad I gotta say uh, they're heavy but I mean the quads heavy so a little extra weight ain't gonna matter not to this frame check it out let me know what you think I think it flies pretty good I was impressed I tightened up the one motor bell and it sounds fine now. Something's in that one. It sounds fine now. And I'm not sure the how they made these motors, but you can't seem to over tighten the uh, screw for the bell. So go ahead and go ham on that uh, screw and tighten your bells if they're a little bit loose because. Uh, I don't see any downside to tightening them. Still spin fine. All right, check it. I think the motors sound a little better on this frame than they did on the Johnny FPV frame. So the Johnny FPV frame might have a little bit of a uh, resonance problem. I know I've read it. I've read a couple of people online talking about it. Um, I'm gonna go uh, do a test flight on Betaflight 3.3 with the Johnny FPV frame and the T motor motors I got on it, and see how it sounds with those. Um, you can tell looking at this flight that this is, this thing is heavy, but for being so heavy, it's still handling really well and not a lot of prop wash that you would expect from you know a heavy quad like that with five inch props and the motors sound really good really smooth i think the extra weight actually helping this thing fly a little smoother i don't know a lot of people think you need a little bit of weight I think there's there's a perfect weight, and uh, for me it's about 600 grams, but I can work with anything. Oh, there we go. Just te just testing the motors. Yeah, they passed. Those uh, Dow Cyclones, man. It's hard to damage those props. Oh, uh, one of those might be a little damaged. There was a little prop wash. Still feels good, though. Still flying good. I'm going to keep on going. I forgot to mention that uh, this has a old X Racer 3.1 version 3.1 on it, something like that. I'll run an old beta flight, running beta flight 3.2.3. There we go. That's how you test motors. Yeah, the props are messed up now. Yeah, full throttle still look pretty decent. Alright, this battery's about done. 
I'm gonna bring it in. Oh, no. I'm gonna bounce off the ground first. Really not bad performance, uh, considering how heavy the quad is. Alright, like and subscribe, y'all. Or dislike. Uh, I got spider web on my GoPro. Oh man, my camera angle's way down. Don't unsubscribe, I need the subs. Barely got any. Motors ain't hot. My GoPro's a little crooked. Oh man, this motor's a little warm. This probably looks like shit.